Hey everybody, GP here, back with another Presence Tapping video. Tapping without words. At least, you don't need to use any words. I will be guiding this, kind of like a guided meditation. And if you're new, this is the first time you've done a Presence Tapping video. It's very simple. I want you to not repeat what I say. Um, but just, like right now, close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths, like you were going to go into a meditation. And then, for a breath or two, just start tapping through the meridian points. With your eyes closed. All you need to do is keep your attention in the body. Allow the tapping, which communicates safety through touch, to do its work in the system, opening and uh, uh, making uh, the whole nervous system more uh, receptive to transformation and healing. And then just listen. Listen with your, with your heart. This is a really big subject, self-forgiveness. We have an easier time, a much easier time, forgiving others than we do ourselves. It's as if we hold ourselves to this absolute standard that can never be broken. Well, that's actually true. At least it was for the little one where this all traces back to, as most things do. Back to that very vulnerable and tender time when we were children. And maybe we weren't loved in the way we needed to be. Parents couldn't love us in that way. They, they were all stressed out in their own life. They, never really got it when they were kids. So they don't really didn't know how to give it to you. And so there was a energetic thing that happened inside the young child to make sure that whatever came out of you, whatever behavior was uh, came out and was expressed, whatever you did, always met with the approval and acceptance of your caregivers. At least enough to get your basic needs met. Not enough to feel fully self-expressive and loved just as you are. A very powerful, powerful tool the nervous system created. It was the nervous system, it wasn't you. This was, stuff happened long before you could actually participate. It was this state of self-punishment. If I did happen to let something out, some behavior that was perfectly natural but not acceptable, it hurt. The feedback I got from the environment was, this is not acceptable. And so what happens is even when the impulse arises inside of us, the natural impulse of self-expression, it's recognized by the nervous system that this is going to get you hurt. And it just pushes it, pushes it down, won't let it out. And eventually creates a story about it that, that it, not that it's bad, but you're bad. And these things can't be forgiven, can't be let off the hook. Because, of course, if they get out, you really did get hurt. But this energy sticks. 
the nervous system gets stuck in that, thinking that this is somehow a permanent condition. So this other little thought that goes on, that if I can just be good enough, then I'll, I'll, I'll earn the approval and, and love, and then I'll be forgiven. Until then, no forgiveness for me. And this tendency stays with us. So now, just recognizing that that's the energy that's going on in the body when you can't forgive yourself. That there's this sense that if I do, I'm just going to do bad things again. I'm just going to get hurt again. I'm not going to be a good moral person. What if it were possible that you, you could actually let yourself off the hook and be a moral person, a good person? What if you didn't need self-punishment relentless self-punishment, punishment that seems to have no end, in order to be good. What if it's possible? Just growth, development, practice of compassion and wisdom, actually made it possible to be truly good without needing to be punished. What if you always were good? What if there was never a bad little boy or girl in the first place? It's just a reaction to the environment just an assumption that was made. Try to explain why you weren't getting the love you needed. Must be my fault, right? The natural conclusion of the child. What if you were never bad in the first place? What if you were just you? And what if you were lovable, but just didn't get the love? What if you've always been good enough? What if you never needed punishment? What if forgiveness was not even needed because you'd never done anything truly wrong? What if you are essentially good? Now, I'm not trying to assert anything. You can't force your nervous system to accept. That's why affirmations are uh, problematic. And assertions are usually met with resistance. Because you can't force the nervous system out of an energetic position. You have to love it out of that position. You have to give it space to see if the environment's changed. If maybe I don't need to punish myself and withhold forgiveness. If I don't need to do that anymore. I don't need to do that. I'm ready to let it go. So we're just going to ask the nervous system itself to open up, take a look. 
Maybe this strategy of self-punishment without forgiveness isn't needed anymore to keep you safe and to keep you as a good person, a good human being. What if that's not needed anymore? Just asking the nervous system to open up, check it out for itself. You know, it's aware of so much more than we are. It's been acting on our behalf long before we could uh, think or speak or, or act on our own behalf. So thank you for being so loyal. Thank you for taking such good care of me. Thank you for looking after me when I couldn't look after myself. And even thank you for coming up with whatever strategy. And thank you for considering that maybe we don't need this strategy anymore. Thank you. I love you. All right, and let the tapping go and take another breath or two. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes and just let that feeling sink in. We don't have to force the nervous system, the energy system, the whole body-mind mechanism thing to uh, into any kind of position but it's very responsive to just inviting it. Just take a look. Maybe it's safe now. It's quite capable of recognizing when there's danger and when there isn't, when it's safe and when it's not, when it can just relax and, and go into the uh, parasympathetic state of just calm, rest and refresh, and when it needs to be alert. It knows. And we're just helping it be present in this moment so that it's responding not to the past as an assumption, but to the present as an experience. So, hope you enjoy that, and um, I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, namaste.